we're just going to talk about setting out a couple of simple arches for now. Um, obviously there's lots of different types of arches right back through. Most of the Roman arches are semicircular, which I can just sort of briefly show that one on here, but most people know about that um, and how we, how we set it out. So what we've, we've got this uh, straight line across the board and then we'd measure whatever the whatever the span would be that's the opening of the of whatever window or door and uh, if we did this uh, half a, I'll do it now it can be obviously any size but it's the idea it's the same we just put on uh, half a meter we're in metric now so just make a mark there say Half a meter is there. So that's what they call the span. That's the distance between the two sides of masonry or whatever it you're going to do. Now for a semicircular arch, what you do is you just find the center. Which should be there. I think, hang on. What are we? 250, yes. That's the centre there, and then what you do is, from there, you just draw it out here, using, in a small thing, you just use a compass, if you were doing it in a, on a, on a drawing board or something like that normally, but this is what you do if you're setting out to something to full size, and this is what's called a beam compass, or a trammel, these are trammel heads which can be, you just adjust them along a, a piece of timber that you have. Now there's a, it's just a spike at what at these now and what you could do is you can t take that out and put a pencil in if you're drawing on smaller things but this with showing it with this we've got I've just got to be able to hold it at the side of it and what you do here is uh, adjust your trammels if I can that's come off <laughs> To that gap there, keep that on the centre, adjust the other there, tighten it up, if I can have a bit of a bad hand. And then what you do for a semicircular then, you just you just hold you just have if you had a pencil there and you keep that fast there and you go you just go round like that and that should come out just there on the other point. Now that that's fairly simple. I don't <clears throat> I'll not to uh, draw that out, but what um, the next one is like a variation of a semicircular arch which is called a segmental arch and a segment is just a part of a circle. So instead of the full semicircle you just have a like a slice through and then you, you just decide what height you want to be. So Shall we say, uh, if I did this uh, about uh, 200 or 20, just put a mark there, what I'd really need to do is to square, to square up from the, from this line, from that mark there. Make sure you're just on there and draw a line. It can go, it can actually go through. In fact, it needs to, it needs to go through. So what you do then, from that point there, the rise, as they call it, the top of the rise. You draw a line from there to there, oh, that's nearly gone, <laughs> and then you do the same on the other side. Obviously this 
be it this uh, what I'm marking out with it's a bit uh, it's a bit thick the uh, and then from there <clears throat> if you go halfway along this line so whatever that is it measures three three hundred and five so that's a uh, no it's nearly it's nearly three three ten so that would be a hundred and fifty five that's there now then from that From that light, from that point, you put your square on again, and you draw from there. Oops, I'd <laughs> can't hold it. You draw it to there. There's a point there. Now you can you can do it on the other side. That's where <clears throat> this is how my dad showed me, and he only. He only showed me once because I remembered it because it was straightforward. There's a lot of setting out things that be so com seem so complicated you have to go over and over them. But this one was was pretty straightforward. And that actually gives you the line for drawing the the semi the segment. Now you can, he showed me he did it on the other side as well, but actually it just comes to the same it just comes to the same point or it should do if you've got it right so what I've got to try and do now it's a bit more awkward with having to just hold something on but uh, we shall see how it goes so you've got to set your your trammel so it uh, when I get to it so it goes from that point there to that. <laughs> Does it show enough? And then obviously which where that point could be anywhere i mean it could be right up well it could be almost up to being a semicircle but it, obviously a segment you want it less than that and it can be really <clears throat> really low down but every, obviously to it if that point moves up and down that line there in relation to the height that you've got that obviously it's been a bit difficult doing this because we've done it on a, a board <clears throat> not vertical but slanting upright whereas normally you'd be doing it you'd be laid out <coughs> on the floor or on a table or something like that but it gives you the idea and obviously when you do if you're actually doing an arch <coughs> with that beam compass you can just do it full size even if it's big you just get a longer piece of stick between the tram leads and and there and there it is and then you can just transfer it to all the, to make a center for the arch then Thank you for watching Drystone TV.